Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to make a video about how I fixed my HTC Vive issues. So over the past few months, I've had massive problems with my Vive. I've plugged it in and just not been able to uh, get anything out of it. Um, basically, the symptoms of my problem were uh, you would plug it in, start up Steam VR, and within maybe 5-10 seconds, the screen would go grey. Um, another issue was um, if you had the uh, the controllers and the base station synced up they would just randomly uh, go grey as well so you could only have maybe the headset and one controller uh, activated at the, se at the same time um, another problem was like only one base station would work it would it would change as well it could be one or the other um, a, a problem with the USB controllers where they would just continuously ask for firmware updates if you plugged them in um, so just a whole host of problems really and, and I've found out that it's it's basically my uh, USB controllers uh, which is which is a problem so the, the USB um, the actual chip on on the USB uh, on the motherboard is is the problem so I have an ASUS uh, Z170A motherboard and this has the uh, Intel USB chipset and also a uh, AS media um, chipset as well now these are on different USB ports. So if you if I plug my Vive into one of these USB ports, either the USB 2 of the Intel, the USB 3 of the Intel, or the USB 3.1 of the AS media, uh, none of them would work. They would. Um, the best one was probably the USB 2 Intel one, uh, and that has worked in the past. But due to some uh, Windows update or some software update, or I don't know what, this uh, basically this doesn't does just no longer works for me. And um, it, it's it's been impossible to get my Vive working again. Uh, so it's been really frustrating. And um, I did a lot of reading on Reddit and uh, Steam Powered forums. And basically the conclusion uh, which I wanted to try was to buy a new USB card. Um, so I bought a new USB card and um, it's it's working perfectly now. And you can see me playing in this, uh, we can see me playing this Blade Runner um, walk around game. Uh, no problem at all. And it's 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 a shame that it's had to uh, you know that it's required me to go out and pay pay money you know for this new USB card to to um, get it working again. But I'm just happy it's done to be honest. And um, people like Microsoft, Intel, or AS Media or whoever ASUS, they need to get their shit together because this this has really uh, annoyed me. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to show you the the cards uh, that I that are meant to be compatible, or the, and also the one that I bought, and also uh, give you some other tips if you're having problems with maybe your Nvidia drivers or your uh, USB devices in general. So let's just switch over to the browser view. Okay, so this is the card that I bought. It's the Oracle PME 4UI. Now the this card, um, I'm not sure if it's available on Amazon because I bought it from Taobao in China. But this is the only, uh, this is the one that you should get basically, this model, because um, Oracle actually have a lot of other um, USB cards. They have so many and um, they're, they're all from different, uh, they're all using different manufacturers for their USB chip. Um, so what you want to do is look for this one, PME for UI, because it's a, because it's a magic card, uh, first of all. And um, they specifically say it uses the, uh, the Fresco FL1100. Now this chipset has been recommended by uh, by uh, by Steam, uh, particular on on their uh, on their website, and also by Oculus as as a um, as one that they've tested with. Apparently, Fresco Logic, the the company that makes this, has some um, links to the the USB uh, specification. Uh, so, so basically, they they help write the specification or something like that, and. Um, this is why that this chipset is so crucial. Another card that was mentioned on on Reddit and um, and also in in Oculus and and uh, the the Steam Steam website is this one by Inatech. So this one might be easier to get if you're in America, and um, it's around twenty nine uh, twenty one dollars, and you can get it from Amazon. So the the Oracle that I bought was actually seventy five RMB, which is very very cheap. Um, but this one is about double the price. I'm not sure what the difference is because this one also uses a fresco. If you if you zoom in right there, uh, you can actually see the uh, you can actually see the fresco logic uh, controller, which is the FL1100. Um, so that is the crucial um, that is the crucial component that you need. Um, I have heard of some other people saying that their 
uh, non fresco fresco logic cards work but um for me the the orico the the latest orico usb card is is uh is the one that is working for me um i'll just maybe get a picture of it uh okay no, no that's not working so yeah the the fresco uh basically this card here the fresco 1100 okay so after i got that um i plugged it in and what it does is it installs the default uh, Windows Microsoft drivers. So I've recently I've been using drivers from uh, Fernando uh, on the WinRed forums. Now th he he um, he takes various drivers uh, from from different manufacturers and he he uh, mods 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 them slightly so they work on uh, Windows 10 because sometimes uh, the manufacturers they don't release the the uh, the drivers for the for, for Windows 10 because they just leave it up to Microsoft. So what I actually did was I downloaded the Fresco Logic uh, driver from here, and I'm using that one. So I'll just show you what it looks like in Device Manager. I'll just bring this over. Um, so if you look down here, you can see my Fresco Logic XHCI USB 3 uh, controller. Uh, before it said in brackets Microsoft, um, which means it was using the Microsoft driver. Now I'm using the uh, the drivers from here, so it doesn't say that when you when you install that, it actually changes that here. Um, as a side note, I've tried the AS Media and the Intel drivers from this page, and I didn't have any success in um, in getting my Vive working. It, it it had to I had to buy a separate controller for that. Um, it it did, however, make my Intel uh, USB seem a little bit more stable, but it it didn't fix the problem altogether. So another thing that I recommend you look at is upgrading your NVIDIA drivers. So, um, I mean, if you're a gamer, you, you should probably keep an eye on what, you know, what driver versions are coming out. So I've, I'm using the latest ones, 3.397.31, uh, uh, and that only came out a few days ago. But this one has been perfect for me uh, with, with the Vive. I know some people had some problems with the 390 uh, series, uh, and they had to go back to the 385 um drivers and well i i i i don't think you need to do that because because these are working fine for me the the latest ones so at the time of um, i'm making this video it's 397.31 um another thing i recommend you you look at is once you've got all of this hardware installed and, and plugged in and your drivers up to date is give your uh usb devices a reset if you plug in uh, your your Vive um, your Vive controller box into different USB ports on your computer, what it will do is it will install all all fifteen devices or all whatever number of uh, Steam USB devices uh, several times, um, and you'll have a lot of lingering USB devices because of because of the way that you've plugged it in, or maybe if you tried different ports. So what you should do um, before plugging your Vive in is uh for the first time is delete all of your uh usb devices basically reset them all and you can find this in the steam vr settings under the developer menu so it's over here if you just open your settings in in steam vr um click the developer tab and then scroll down and you'll find this reset uh area it says remove all steam uh vr usb devices so you click that and it will delete all uh usb devices uh, steam vr usb devices that you've ever installed on your computer uh, so that's just basically you know cleaning everything up and um, when you plug in your usb for the first time into your um, usb card it should just be that uh, you know the, that, that will be the only usb uh, devices that you have installed which is really good so after you've plugged that in what you should also do um, is uh, is is press this as well disable power management so this needs to be this needs the the usb devices to be installed so you, you'll need to have your your vive plugged in for this um so you, you press this and basically what this does is it, it turns off some of the uh the, the sleep functions for the usb ports in, in windows so what what happens is what can happen is like the uh windows will, will think that uh you know the usb port is not in use or something and then it will go go to sleep after a couple of seconds or a minute or something like that and um, what this does it, it disables that power management and just um it just keeps the usb ports on all the time uh, which is basically what you want so um after i did all of the, followed all of these steps 
you know most of my drivers are good reset all my you know uh yeah reset all my steam devices disable power management my vive worked completely fine and um i think it's mainly due to the uh to the usb card to be honest and uh it is something that's mentioned on the steam vr troubleshooting page um but this this guy this uh orico pme4 ui card is um it's cheap and it it has the correct uh controller the fresco logic fl1100 and it really is uh the magic card which which fixed all of my vibe problems and um, i'm very happy now and and i can go off and play um skyrim vr or fallout 4 vr or whatever okay thanks for listening to this video i hope i really really hope this helped you out because this has been uh, it's been a pain in the ass basically for a few months and a few weeks for me and um if you have any questions or comments um uh, about what uh, how to fix uh, any vive issues um i'm very happy to uh, help you out in in uh, in the comments so just give me a shout and uh, we'll try and get through it thanks a lot i'll see you guys later